what really complexity theory is focusing on is to identify what are the basic laws that are common across many systems that are complex. We started to get and develop the tools to handle them in a quantitative manner. So complexity is slowly moving from being a metaphor towards being a science. In a complex system, you don't always know what are the outcomes of the interventions. A classical example, obviously, is the butterfly effect. These systems are highly nonlinear. They are not predictable using traditional tools of science. Studying complex systems has taught us that there are many surprises and pitfalls on the way from micro to macro phenomena. These systems are critically fragile to external perturbations and small change of parameters can trigger large systemic effects. Fractals are much more than just the pictures of mathematics, they're the pictures of nature. They describe how nature works, how nature builds itself, how a simple process repeating over and over and over again creates the complexity that we see all around us in the world. It's branching again and again creates patterns that repeat at different scales, very complex and very simple to make. that, well, we have always lived in a very complex world, rapidly escalating complexity. There's a level of interconnectedness, the level of interdependency is unprecedented. Therefore, it makes the world more volatile, more complex, more uncertain. And increased connectivity has created strong and often unknown interdependencies. The fundamental question from a network science perspective is, if you are given one of these massive networks with millions and hundreds of millions of nodes and truly billions of links, how do you start analyzing it? How do you understand it? How do you extract its properties? And what are those properties that you really care about? Human networks can develop into a complex system from very simple interaction from its parts. It's decentralized, it's self-organized, the power is distributed. We are all agents in different networks, but they are not made explicit And a 
critical idea here is that there is a co-evolution between agents and structures. Agents are creating the structures, the markets, the institutions, the technologies to which they're responding to, and then in turn responding to the new structures. And the agents evolve themselves over time. What big data really is changing is that we less and less rely on models and we more and more rely on real-time, dense behavior of what is going on in the real systems. So modeling has changed to taking this big flow of data that's coming from me and try to understand the relationship between them and try to have a real-time, spatially distributed uh, picture of what is going on in the real system. Our computers, our use of data must come together with our mathematical ability. But beyond these tools, what I believe is very important is that we now have to come up with new tools, new ideas and concepts to face the problems we have today. Thank you.